Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm finally filming my makeup tutorial that I promised to you guys forever ago, like I do with all my videos. It is finally going up. Um, and basically this is just going to be a really natural look, a no makeup makeup tutorial, if you will, to make it look like you've had a good day, make it look like you've slept forever when it's the middle of finals week, that kind of a thing. Um, and hopefully no one can tell that you're wearing makeup at all. Um, I just wanted to throw a couple of disclaimers out there. One, I am not a makeup artist. I've just been experimenting with this for a little while and wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and I also just want to say that I know it's so kind of controversial for men to be wearing makeup. I really don't care. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, if you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. Um, and I also just wanted to say I am a male and I'm doing like a natural, can't tell I'm wearing makeup type thing. But if you want to do a full face and a smoky eye and a plum lip, by all means, you do you. I think the great thing about makeup is it's really whatever you want to do with it. Like, you bring out the features in your face that you want to show and you hide what you don't. And it's all about you making yourself look the way you want to look. And I think with anything, if you wear it with confidence and you're comfortable with it, then go right ahead. So yeah, let's just do this. And I apologize for the close angle of my face you are about to see. <laughs> Alright, starting off with concealer, I am using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Brightener. And I am taking this under my eyes because I do not sleep at all. And this is just going to help you look more awake and more refreshed and blah 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 like you've slept for an eternity. And I'm also going to use this to cover up some redness that I have around my nose, down the center of my nose. Um, I also have some leftover redness from plucking and some redness around my lips. So once you have that placed where you want it, I'm going to take a dampened makeup sponge, this one's by Real Techniques, and I'm just going to use the tip and kind of dabble this along where I have my concealer. And this is just going to blend it out and make it look like it blends seamlessly with your natural skin and that you're naturally beautiful and flawless. Um, so yeah, just take your time with that and make sure that everything looks really natural and well blended. Now is also a good time to cover up any blemishes that you may have with some concealer as well. Now I'm going in with the NYX Cream Blush in the shade Rouge. This is like a reddish pink blush. It's just going to give you like a really naturally flushed look like you've been out in the cold or like you just worked out. Um, and you can see I also apply this to the bridge of my nose and that kind of gives you like a just been out in the sun sunburnt look, uh, which I think looks good. I don't know. You can do it if you want. And then I'm just using some fingers and kind of dabbling this and blending it out. And you can kind of see where you want to blend this by kind of smiling and seeing where your cheek pops up. That's kind of where you want to keep most of the color. Um, and if you do use a powder blush, just make sure you find something that does not have any glitter particles or any shimmer. Um, a matte blush is going to look the best here. So once you have everything blended out nicely, you want to set it with a powder so that it doesn't move through the day and you don't look greasy. Uh, so basically I'm going in with a Real Techniques powder brush into the Rimmel Stay Matte and I'm just going to dabble this where I have concealer. Now ideally if you're going to buy one brush I would get one that's tapered or angled and that's going to make it a lot easier to get into the nooks and crannies of your face. Um, but I'm making do with a flat powder brush here. So just set all of the cream products and then also run this kind of along your forehead and T-zone and that's just going to help mattify your skin so you don't look too greasy. And now I'm going in with NYX Control Free Clear Brow Gel, and I'm just going to set my brow hairs where I want them. And this is a great way to experiment with different brow shapes and kind of alter your brows without plucking or waxing them. Uh, so I kind of go for a more natural look and kind of comb my hairs backwards, and this kind of makes them stick up and look really natural and kind of boyish. Um, that's how I like to do it, because I pluck them kind of thin. And once your eyebrows are on fleek, you can move on. Um, and then for the lips, we're not going to use any color, we're just going to use the Burt's Bees Lip Balm just to hydrate, because hydrated lips look good on everyone. And once you do that, you are all done. So I hope you guys like this video. I know makeup is in everyone's cup of tea, uh, but if you did like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see uh, more makeup videos, also, you know, give it a thumbs up or a comment or whatever. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys have fun experimenting with makeup. I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.